So welcome back. We continue with our with our paper. So question nine says asks us to solve this uh, equation. So I'm going to show you two ways of solving the uh, equation. I'm going to show you uh, the simpler one first, and then I'm going to show you the the harder one next. So the simpler one is uh, two methods. You can actually realize that this one it's a square, and this one it's also a square. So what you do is uh, you get x minus one like this squared equal to equal to one. So you actually get two values here. If they are giving you guides, then they'll say x equal to this or this. So you know that uh, you want two values. So the way that I'll do it is to take square root. So if you take square root, you actually get 2x minus minus 1 here. As if you're working by uh, completing the square, okay? So here you get plus or minus 1. So 2x is equal to, this one goes to the side, so it becomes 1 plus or minus 1. So 2x is equal to uh, 1 plus 1, then you get what? You get uh, 2. Or 2x is equal to 1 minus 1, then you get 0. So x is equal to 1 or 0, like this, okay? So this is one way to go about it. The other way to uh, go about doing the same problem would be to use difference of two squares. Here is how you do it. This one goes to the side, so it becomes negative 1 equal to 0. This one is a square, this one is a square, and you have minus, so it's difference of two squares. So you can actually go ahead and say 2x minus 1 here. Then you close your bracket. I'm using big brackets just because I'm uh, using a small bracket for this part, okay? So 2x minus 1 here. Then you put your big bracket equal to 0. Then the square root of this one is 1. So you can say plus 1 minus 1 like this, okay? So here you actually get um, 2x minus 1 plus 1 like this. Then 2x minus 1 minus 1 like this equal to 0. So here you actually get uh, 2x. Then here you actually get uh, 2x minus minus 2 equal to 0. So you say therefore x 2x equal to 0 like this on this part. Or 2x minus 2 equal to 0. So x equal to 0 or 2x equal to negative 2. So x equal to 0 or x equal to negative 1. Okay, so this is the second way of working out the same problem. Now the third way, don't use it, okay? It's long and elaborate and um, you probably get some one or two things wrong. So here, the third way would be to, to simplify. So you, you actually expand here. This is a very stupid way of um, uh, working out this problem, okay? It's, it's, it's very long. It's not very stupid if you use this method, okay? I'm not saying that you're stupid. But what I'm saying is uh, this method is long, okay? It's not very efficient. So you end up wasting time. So you have to say 2x, then you open bracket. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm expanding. Okay, minus 1 here. Okay, then 2x minus 1 again equal to 1. So here you actually get 4x squared minus 2x minus 2x, then plus 1 equal to, equal to 1. Okay, so here you get uh, 4x squared minus 4x. Uh, plus 1 minus 1 equal to equal to 0. Then here you get uh, 4x squared minus 4x. Then plus 0 here equal to 0. Then you factorize x. Then you get, um, you have, uh, you can factor, you can factor out 4x here. Then if you factor out 4x here, uh, you have x minus minus 1 like this. Okay, equal to 0. Then you start saying 4x equal to 0 or x minus 1 equal to 0. Then you get x equal to 0 or x equal to 1. Okay. So this one, it's, it's pretty long just because you have to do this expansion here. Remember, the more steps that you take in working out any problem, the more likely you are to, you are to make mistakes. So that's why I told you that find some efficient ways of working out these problems. Okay. So let's move on to the next part. Next part says the size of uh, each interior angle of a regular polygon is 135. Find the number of sides of the of the polygon. So here you have to let the number of sides so we usually denote this by n, okay? So you have to recall the formula for the for the um, uh, total interior interior angles. Okay, so you told you told the size of each 
So if uh, you had uh, the, the total one, the total one, remember, it would be uh, 180 and minus 2 like this. Okay, this one it would, the, would be the total. And this total here, you actually have to divide it by number of sides. Okay. To get the, the interior angle. So to get 135 degrees here. Okay, if you want, you can even write to say uh, total interior angles divided by number of sides. Number of sides would be number of angles. Okay, equal to interior angle. This is the formula that we used. Okay, so the total interior angles uh, it's equal to this much and uh, you can actually quickly verify if you put 3 here then it becomes 3 minus 2 then you get uh, 1 then you say by 180 so a triangle, a triangle indeed has 180 degrees uh, uh, total or for its interior angles okay so this this one is um, easy to verify okay and it's just number of sides so uh, what you do here I'm, I'm going to remove this one for um, uh, working purposes okay so here I'm going to say 180 n minus 2 and I'm going to multiply both sides by n okay so the reason I'm multiplying by n is I want to remove I want to remove um, fractions so here this one goes there if you're quick then you can actually just uh, put n here it's still fine okay the marker will know so this one you can expand it so if you expand you get uh, 180 n minus this one will be 360 you go to 135n like this. So you get 180n. I'm putting this to the side, okay? So I'm putting this to the side so that this is positive. Some people would put this one to the side. You're complicating things for yourself. So 135n equal to, I'm putting this to the side. So 360. Here you get uh, 45. So 45n is equal to 360. So n is equal to. 360 divided by 45. So 360 divided by, by 45, you can start by uh, saying maybe 9, 9 into, into this, then you get uh, 5, then 9 into 36, then you get 4 here, this one is 0, then 5 into, into of, uh, 40, you actually get what? You actually get 8. So 8 number of sides. So you can actually confirm uh, when you're when you're revising, you say you put 8 here, then you put 8 here, do you get 135? If you get 135, then this is good. Okay, so it's just 8, the answer. State the order of rotational symmetry of the regular polygon. So when they say regular polygon here, yeah, I forgot to explain to you. It means uh, the polygon has equal sides. Okay, so equal sides and equal angles. So the regular, the regular polygon, any regular polygon uh, has the order of rotational symmetry of the number of sides. Okay, so it's actually 8. Yeah. If it's a decagon, write 10. If it's a regular decagon, write 10. If it's an equilateral triangle, write 3. If it's a square, write um, a 4. Okay, so I'm saying equilateral triangle just because this applies for only regular shapes. So that's just about it for this question. Uh, make sure you like, share and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next video. Yuba out.